Cheers. I'm doing it right. Salt. Lime. <clears throat> God damn it. <clears throat> That's how you do it. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's second color rainbow between us, your boy Trey Proper. It's your boy Big Herb. And Mr. Pity. Oh, God damn it. Damn, Rita wasn't that bad. Skip me, skip me, skip me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, damn it, Rick. <sighs> she don't got my eyes blue. <laughs> Somebody's got the jump play. Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right. Thank you guys again for joining us once again for another great episode of Blurs and Whiskey. We've <laughs> got some good things to talk about. We're going to get right into it. Uh, but first things first, our drink of the week. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Terramana. That is a uh, very, very, very tasty beverage. It's a tequila that's made by the one and only Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who we've talked and his about me- multiple times. Hey, baby and daddy. He, he makes the it right. in Mexican sweatshops. <laughs> he made it for the millions and millions of migrant workers. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to talk about my baby daddy like that. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about it today. Because um, he don't. It doesn't up matter how many kids you had by him. <laughs> <laughs> Terramata tequila is a uh, Terro de Gave, one hundred percent. That agave, shit got agave. my upper lip sweating. The horsepower wow. on this is forty uh, percent, eighty percent, eighty eighty proof. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's it's real sweet. It's smooth. It didn't hit me like it hit Rita over there. I don't know what's going on. Man. But, uh, Let's go around the horn. <laughs> Tell us what you made. Rita says you got you got the animated face today. I'm gonna let you go first. What you do? What yeah. you Man. Okay, so I made a tequila sunrise. The plan at first was to make some um, frozen margaritas, but my blender decided to you know be a section eight hoe, and that worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, big hurt. What you <laughs> got? What you drinking, homie? Big Herb, what you drinking? I have tequila and OJ. That's it. Okay. Yo, I really am disappointed in you week after week, yo. <laughs> it's, like, it's not as bad as Trey's every week, so I mean... Hey, 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 and at least it's not on the rocks. <laughs> right. Just that Everything is uh, on the rocks. Like tequila on the rocks? <laughs> Mr. Mister Petty, what you drinking on me? Um, well, currently my resources are limited, so I have tonic water and I have tequila and I have lime juice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, wait. Now, Why are your resources limited? Where are you? Oh, um, I'm <laughs> currently on uh, vacation, you know, you know, so, you know, not giving disclosed location, but I am not here, <laughs> but I'm with you all in spirit and in Zoom. <laughs> just, just don't stand up, homie, because we know your ass ain't got no pants on right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> By the way, that tweet was funny. That you he's on. That. He's on a ba- He's on a vacation right now. All right, homie. Yeah, we saw the little soft core <laughs> porn junk you put up there on the internet recently. But yeah, we're gonna move on. Anyway, Maestro, over there. What are you eating? At, uh, what is that? A fucking Jello pudding? What are you eating? <laughs> Alcohol sorbet. Pops. <laughs> alcohol sorbet. Alcohol hmm. sorbet. Alcohol sorbet. I okay. took a bunch of I took a bunch of frozen fruit and fuck the rock. I got to I got Patron and I threw that shit in the blender. <laughs> and yeah, alcohol sorbet. Living my life. Dang. Fuck y'all. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's uh, I, good job. So um, I actually tried this week. I I think I made a tasty beverage. Nobody's here to try it with me, but. I took some uh, some mango uh, margarita mix, Jose Cuevo margarita mix, Terramana, and some blood orange, what do they call it, salsa water. <laughs> and I made a pretty tasty beverage. It looks, it's, it's pretty good. Hmm. Filled up a whole tall boy. Well, probably would have actually set it off if you threw like some like like cherries, not maraschino cherries, but just cherries or some type of strawberry or some type of fruit in there to kind of like balance it out to give it some like... I don't know, some kick to it. Tequila, yeah. tequila, tequila is accented by tropical fruits. Always it's remember true. that. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at Trey trying. Fuck y'all, look. <laughs> <laughs> I can make drinks sometimes, damn it. I just be fucking up on purpose. Leave me alone. All right, so uh, speaking. But do you? Yeah, sometimes I just want to see what I can make. So, some of the best creations in life 
come from people just throwing shit together. Alcohol sorbet. <laughs> there you go. Case in point. All right. Um, but speaking of The Rock and his delicious tequila, despite what Rick says, it's pretty good. Okay, so you, I put the picture up on, on the fan page and everything so you guys can see it. But uh, The Rock has been making some waves recently in the news. Yeah. Hey, wait, 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 waves in the news, Rita. In the news. Only in the news. <laughs> all, all it's, just, is... it's all newsworthy, if you ask me. Anywho. <laughs> so, a baby daddy is out here buying up shit. And he is now the owner, I guess, of co- um, co- the co-owner, whatever, of the XFL. Which had a pretty good run last year, I believe. Like they really did a a lot. And so now he got his tequila, he got, you know, his muscles, <laughs> he got, you know, the XFL. Um, he got a whole lot of, you know, great qualities. All right, and all right. So enough swooning. Enough, <laughs> swooning. enough swooning. So I, I will get a nigga props on. That is a boss move to go and buy your old boss's other company. That's some boss <laughs> shit. But without, yeah. with, and unlike Sharita, I'm also going to give props to the other person who's responsible for that. His ex-wife, Danny Garcia, and the. We don't talk about her. Listen, <laughs> let, it let, it let it go. Let it go. We don't talk about Be- her. <laughs> because they are the ones that made this possible. It also, it almost didn't actually go down that way because the creditors that the XFL owed was just like, wait a minute, y'all about to give us pennies on the dollar? Now nah, we want some return on our investment. But they still, he still just bought a whole sports league for fifteen million dollars, and that's a pretty good come up. Shout out, so, shout out the eyebrow. So, so I'm actually want to clap it up for the fact that we now have a football league that's owned by not one but two per- people of color. So that's something I want to give props for. Um, that's something that we never thought would happen. But hey, 2020, what can I say? The rocks are yeah. going. Uh, my thing is this too. I mean, the possibility of how good this can be. Because just think about this. He's done so much work with NBC Sports, and not just sports, but NBC, period. And I mean, with the, what's the name of that show that we had? That little obstacle course show? Titan Games. Yeah, Titan Games. He had that, and he's made millions of dollars for that. He could just go ahead and say, hey, I got a product over here. Uh, it did really good before COVID hit. Why not invest in this? And they could, and I mean, they only have like 18, so you could do it like a bubble game, like uh, the NBA does with the bubble. So it's like they're going to end up with more than 18. Like, by the time he's done with it, they're going to have more than eight. Maybe. I mean, like, where they had they already had eight teams already. And I'm saying for future purposes, yeah, he could expand it. And that well, would be great for the, for the product. But just having eight teams and you can make it a potential bubble, too, because the NFL is going to flop with this, this uh, whole entire COVID thing going on. Because you think, you think look so? at all these... Hmm? Nigga, nigga, stop. The NFL doesn't flop. No, I'm saying right. with, with COVID. Right, look, I'm not saying as purpose. I'm saying with all the sports that are right here. Herb. Her, her. I'm saying. Let me finish. So you're saying. All right. Let him finish. Wow. All the sports that's outside has been. Everybody has been getting COVID. Every single thing that's inside, like uh, the, what's the name? The, the NHL and NBA has been flourishing so far. Now, they could potentially make a bubble for the, for the XFL. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So the virus, the virus is more likely to spread outside than it is inside. Is that what you just I'm said? Just, I'm just saying. So we should. We so basically, basically, based off Herb's logic, we should all just be outside doing whatever the fuck we want to right now instead of staying inside. Nice. You just said okay. that. That's what you just okay. said. So what you have to think about where the most practice was a lot of. I'm not going to say most, but there are a lot of practice facilities that are inside. And you got to keep in mind that even though you're outside and, you know, they say the UV rays or whatever helps destroy the virus, when we're playing football, we're going face-to-face with people breathing hard, smashing into each other all the time. So if, if somebody a has it, if somebody, it's a contact sport. So if somebody has it Collision. and you are <laughs> sitting there for an hour and 30 minutes, two hours, smashing into each other repeatedly, it's a good chance that your sweat, your spit, whatever you exhale, your droplets can get on somebody else, even though they have face masks. Now, they have been toying around with a couple of different options as far as like face mask coverings and stuff like that, but that is not going to set into the, to the real league. So it's a, it's a potential that the, that the pandemic can affect uh, contact sports. So, so the COVID can mess it up. 
I'm not saying that they're going to mess it up, but, you know, it remains to be seen. We just got to wait and see what happens. But yeah. guess what, though? If you've been taking your Phoenix feet, <laughs> you in there like swim with. <laughs> so, <laughs> all of our watchers, if you go ahead and get you some Phoenix fit, like how I got me some Phoenix fit, and I'm out here trying to get extra stashed out here for y'all, you can put in the code F and Birds13 and get that 15% off, and you can get snatched like me. Forget God. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. The but get the the but guess what though it just still got me. I'm, I'm gonna be stuck on that for a minute. <laughs> but guess what though? Wait, what? <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right, yo. I'm oh, but real. wait, I'm... EO, hey EO, show my before and after so people can see how much work I've been putting in out here in these streets. You know, trying to get extra snatch for my cash money nine nine taking over for the man nine. So, so, hey, 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 Rita, though. I messed it up, okay. but I kept going. Hey, I see you. Let's say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take the petty reins for a second and just I say mean, that. I mean, you can do that. No, no, no. I'm going to say something real quick. Hey, I'm yo, real quick. Why, why our viewership just went up by like three points? Fucking perfect. I'm really putting in work, so... You yeah. like me to give me yeah. credit. Thank you no, very no, no, much. No, 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 no. <laughs> my, my, my petty my petty moment is more like the fact that not only are you getting, you know, getting right with Phoenix Fit, not only are you doing a damn thing with, you know, like, you know, you, you set a goal and you achieving it, so I'm giving you props on that. But I'm also going to give you the props on the fact that in both, like, all the pictures, how little makeup you wear and how fucking gorgeous you are, <laughs> unlike, some of our, <laughs> unlike some of our... Uh, some, some some fans who gonna who gonna go into your inbox talking about some makeup and shit while having a filter. Like you know, how your profile picture gonna have dog ears and you wanna talk about someone else not wearing makeup. <gasps> but I'm, 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 okay, I'm, so I'm, story I'm, time, I'm, story okay, time, yeah. so we can talk about what Cam I'm is talking I'm about. A, I'm gonna be petty for you. I'm gonna be petty for you. <laughs> I had a dusty hoe inbox me <laughs> and was like, oh. Why you don't wear makeup on Sundays when you do the show? Because you could use a little bit. First of all, bitch, whoever you are, I'm fine. Okay? <laughs> okay, I'm cute. My DNA is the bomb. My mama was cute. My daddy was cute. We all cute. My son is cute. We are the I cute family. I come from a family. long line of cuteness. <laughs> <laughs> we are a cute family, okay? It's generational cuteness out here. So, no, I don't need makeup, okay? No so shade know- to the women who wear makeup. No shade. I think it's beautiful. But personally, number one, I ain't talented in the makeup game. And number two, I don't need it. You see this skin? Yeah. Well, do we know who yeah. this was? No, because I was busy working, and so I was like, "Well, if you don't want to see me on Sundays without makeup, then you cannot watch the show, and you are blocked." <laughs> and so I blocked her. Oh, but blocked. Unfortunately, I was so busy with my work this week in particular, I didn't even take the time to like screenshot it or like even think about it. I just automatically Look. deleted it because I don't need that negativity. In my Listen. Life. Listen, they made the right choice. They made the right choice addressing you while you were busy. Because you <laughs> deleted and blocked it. My petty ass, my ignorant ass, I would have had your face all over this show right now. I would have changed yeah. my picture to your face and I'd have fried the shit out of you. Yeah, hey, I'm, hey. I'm, go, I'm going to from here right, up, you know. and you got a filter. You have no right coming in my inbox talking to me about nothing. That's not like, you just need to go and sit down somewhere. Like, yeah, how, how you gonna have F1 filter, a uh, Snapchat, and Instagram filter all in the same time and no Photoshop? Oh man, I'm sorry. Listen, I, I, I need y'all to understand something. If y'all come for us, we're going to fucking fry you, and it's not gonna be like this. Is, this is what's gonna happen. I will cook she your ass. It. I, man, listen, it'll be, it'll be, it, it will be round robin. Like, it'll be, like it's today, I got them. time. I got time today. Today, you I got time. Is. You'll get lung cancer from is. all this smoke. What, this one thing. <laughs> Whoever it was, and what did you learn today? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, but hey, hey, real, real talk, funny, funny shit in the world. Funny shit in the world. Once we started this segment, we were at 23 viewers. We went down by one viewer. So they was all. <laughs> All right, let's, oh, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. To this. Hey, <laughs> hey, let's let's get to these church announcements, Herb. Real quick, guys, we can't we can't attack our viewership. <laughs> we shouldn't do that. Attacking me. All right. I mean, you're right, yeah. You're right. We 
yeah. still should not. People should be entitled to say what they want to say, but they also got to remember remember they are okay. All right, I take it back. Fuck it. Go after them. <laughs> Go after them. Do what you got to do because it's fucking hilarious. I'm just trying to be a good guy. I'm just trying to be a good guy. You say what you want, but just be aware what's gonna happen when you say it. That's all. <laughs> just, so I'm just thinking. Uh. This, this, all right. So going into the church announcements, uh, a somber moment. Uh, we want to send prayers out to the people in Beirut. Uh, it was an explosion that happened uh, over. Uh, I think the death toll was 135 uh, were killed. 5,000 were injured. Uh, it was due to two, two apparently 2,700 uh, tons of uh, ammonium nitrate uh, stored in an unsecure warehouse in Beirut. Uh, seriously, we just want to send our prayers out to everybody about that. Um, it's an unfortunate situation, and we hope that you all recover quickly, and our prayers are out to you guys. Um, second, uh, what y'all think about the versus uh, battle this week with uh, Rick Ross and 2 Chains? I was trying to watch that shit. It kept picking me out. <laughs> Rick Ross needs some more Phoenix fit. Put in that code <laughs> blurs FNX blurs thirteen. You can say that fifteen. Uh, listen, I'm all I'm all for the promo, but don't be fat shaming. All right, it's fat niggas no. are still living. No, in not if you out here with a silky shirt on and your chest out. Like no, like. Hey, you hey, hey, to hold look on, real Miami, yeah. hold, hold on. When, was anybody else thinking about when Fifty Cent took his body and turned it into a T-shirt and was selling them on his uh, Instagram page? That's all I was thinking about when that nigga had that shirt on. Oh, like you didn't know about that, Trey? No, oh, no, my what God. I, what, I, what, I, what I was thinking of was the whole time, I feel like it was like Marshawn Lynch type uh, versus battle. Hey, look, I'm just here so they don't find me. <laughs> hey, I'm just hey real, real, real shit. Like, uh, my man, I love 2 chains, but dog, dog, you needed a five-hour energy or a shot of Red Bull or something Yo. before you got on it. That nigga yeah. Chains was ready for yeah. Chains was ready for The pain. strippers was even dusty. Like how like you you had the one They had butt strippers on there? Yes. 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 I didn't get and, to watch I didn't get to watch it because it kept kicking me back out. So I was like, F it. I ain't gonna watch it. Hey Trey, it's not your lane. It's not your <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Trey. We, we all know that you mean not the life that you live. But what are you talking about? Aside, though, like for real, <laughs> I even seen somebody wrote it and I posted it on our Twitter page. Somebody was like, Yeah. Ross looked like he's ready to party and Chains looked like he's ready to go to bed. And the way that they ended it was ghetto. Wait, 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 like, wait, wait, how do you right, just hold hold play on, music hold on, hold on, and walk off? Time out, time out, time out, time out. What do you mean it's not my lane? Damn, it's man. Not, you, you still, you still on now. I was like, hey, hey, now. hey God, guys, 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 <laughs> everybody, calm down. We are in this thing, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like I listen to I listen to rap. I may not know every goddamn lyric. But, I'm, you know, I'm fucking I'm with you. To the shit. I'm fucking with you. No, nah, because I'm I'm not I'm not bitter or angry. I'm just I'm I know genuinely you want to know what you're talking about. Like, what do you mean it's not my lane? But all right, fuck, keep on going. But um, yeah, I think in my opinion, I feel like uh, Ross had more hits in the in in, in the uh, battle, and I mean. Two chains is like, yeah, we uh fit, we got like two more songs, then we gonna crash this down. And Ross is like, nigga, we can go keep going, nigga. Let's go. Let's right. Go. Oh. Chains wanted to shut it down because he knew he couldn't he couldn't win. But hey, but but Rick Ether that nigga when he came out with that Kanye unreleased like verse. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that shit was no tough. coming no. back from this. But I, I saw why that shit got cut. That wasn't a good verse. But the real winner of the whole yes, verses was Drake. <laughs> it was because because more that Drake was the real winner of this verses because more Drake <laughs> hits were played than anything. <laughs> Drake Drake was so popular because of that because of that um they brought back that old meme with him just stepping backwards <laughs> and they keep some photos out. Oh shit. All right, so going on forward, uh, shout out to Nia DaCosta. Nia DaCosta is going to direct the sequel to Captain Marvel. So she's uh, the director of the new Candyman movie that's supposed to be coming out, I believe, in October or whenever they're going to put it on streaming or whenever. We're never, we're, we're never going to see it. We're never getting back to the movies. We're never, <laughs> never getting back. It's gonna be like the Snyder Cut of horror films. Release the Candyman. 
Okay, I still, awesome. I'm still advocating um, for drive-in movie theaters. Like, I'm, I'm ready for that to come back fully. I am country. too. I'm for that shit. Yeah. Why, right. why, why are you advocating for drive-in movie theaters, Trey? Because I love <laughs> movies. I like going to the movies, and I wouldn't mind sitting in my vehicle and not being around people. It's not so I could be having so. some shorty showing me how well her knees work like I know you're trying to allude to. <laughs> no, I wasn't I'm, going I'm, to I'm, say I'm, knees, I'm, but I'm with that motion. Uh, I'm going to be <laughs> There you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> All righty. Um, I'm not really into, uh, what's the name of the, as far as like doing highlights on IG and everything, but apparently IG has, uh, I guess, like a knockoff version of TikTok that they just added on as a feature this week. What do y'all think about that? Rails? Uh, okay, so as the, as, I must say, as a person who actually has a TikTok and then checking out Reels, it's nowhere in comparison. But I will say that what Instagram does, they take bits and pieces of what everyone else is doing and then makes it into their own and people act like it's there. Like Vine was killed because Instagram started doing videos. Snapchat started going down because they started doing Insta stories. So with Reels, people think that TikTok is going to go down. I'm like, nah, Bruh. Generation Bruh. Z got this shit on lock. Like they, I think they I'm too go. old. I don't know how to use it. I try. This is the, mo- this is the most Zuckerberg <laughs> shit to ever Zuckerberg out of a Zuck's face. <laughs> it's just Zuckerberg going one Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. It's just like, that's hey, the, these, the guys, these guys, these guys <laughs> have an eye. <laughs> no, it's no, but real, real shit though. Look at it though. It's just like, hey, look, these Winklevoss twins. They have, they have created this uh, website where their friends can all talk. I'm gonna steal that, and then he just keeps on stealing the shit. I mean, it's it's just more Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg. So basically, you're saying he's pulling you, me. You zucking son of a bitch. No, 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 her because he's actually successful. Can we have like a user guide yeah. for like old people <laughs> that don't know how to do it, like myself? God. Damn, you can you like show me how to use wow. I, 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 will say, how to I will say this about TikTok though. It's funny because when people ask me, I don't get TikTok. It's like, all right, it's an inside joke that no one can get unless you're actually doing TikTok. And then once you start understanding TikTok, then you understand the inside joke of what TikTok really is. Um, other than that, like you can't, I can't really explain like, how to do it. I can give you tips and stuff, but like once you start like enjoying yourself in TikTok, you're like, oh, okay, now I get it. TikTok wait, 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 okay wait, 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 real quick, real quick. Don't shoot me because Rick brought this up. Is that why you shot your own soft porn opening yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> because hey, hey, all, all right. I I'm gonna I'm 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 blame that. I'm gonna blame that on Jen and and Snow. <laughs> and and I, it was edited, and um, I thought that it was very romantic. Apparently, my definition of ra- romance is a little bit raunchier than everyone else's. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's now the Cinemax and Showtime and HBO After Dark. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll take First. Cinemax overtime. No, no, no. Sure. I said, I said earlier, you mix Cinemax After Dark with Crunchyroll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to something there. Hey, <laughs> no, so, so high. It, what isn't it? Isn't it true that? It, well, I'm not gonna say it's true, but as far as the, going back to the reels and the TikTok conversation. Allegedly, TikTok is stealing data, and this is supposed to be the competitor alternative, correct? They are. So, not, it's not alleged. They are stealing data. Real, like, can, yeah. I, can, I say, can I say this? I want everybody to do a quick check. Tell me what app in your phone isn't stealing your data and selling No, no, no. They're yeah. doing way more because the federal government is like, if any employee downloads it on their phone, we are confiscating their phone, and they're liable to be terminated. So the reason why the federal government is doing that is because TikTok is owned by a Chinese-based company. Fa- uh, Facebook is doing the exact same shit at a higher level every day, but it's just because Mark Zuckerberg is in bed with our government. It's okay when Facebook does it, but hey, China. That's true. He's in bed, with, he's in bed with, with the comb over. Tell the truth, because that's who he in so, bed with. So, so, so here's the thing about information that everyone doesn't realize. Whenever you turn on your phone, the very first time you turn on it, there's a terms and condition that everyone skips over. What it basically is saying is, is taking your information for statistical purposes. Statistical purpose could be any number of things, but under those statistical purposes, your information is being distributed to everything. Your, everything you type, everything your IP address has, that's why Google knows exactly what it is. That's why when you say something Google or search something Google, Wish shows up. That's why Wish is in, in league with um, ad, ad choices, ad choices in league with Google. 
Google's in league with, say, everything that you get from Facebook, and Facebook's in league with Instagram. So that's why everything you put in your search engine shows up on your sponsor ads. So all that to be said that you can't be, like, under the radar and have an iPhone. It don't yeah. work that way. Pretty much. Okay. That's, yeah. that's um, under rage for the moment. Continue. <laughs> also, uh, guys, um, we will be on another show this week. It is yeah. called The Good and Terrible Show. Uh, and we sh- they should be uh, posting it later on today because it's a recorded show, and then they put it out. So uh, we, we will be posting it in the fan group. And uh, one more thing, I purposely did not say this in our meeting because I wanted you guys' reaction to this. Uh, Rick, I'm pretty sure you probably heard about this. Blue Jays uh, catcher, Reese McGuire. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, he shit. got caught by the police in the strip mall in the strip mall doing the five knuckle shuffle. Yep. Yeah. So oh, oh so hold on. So, 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 so we got a hold on, hold, going on. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's an even <laughs> better extension to this story. I thought Herb was gonna mention it when he said the name, but I got it. So they played the Atlanta Braves this week. <laughs> As he's walking up to the plate. The Atlanta Braves start playing fucking beat it. <laughs> yes. Like, well, I didn't even hear that, but then... so I was like, well, so so the world now is just on Mr. Petty levels. It's just like everybody's just gonna be petty. Wow. Just, just, just give it to him. That's <gasps> almost that's wow. that's almost that's almost as bad as when the Seattle Seahawks, when Russell Wilson first started dating Sierra and they went to Atlanta. And the Falcons play all future songs to begin to be uh to before the game. Oh, that was that was great. That was amazing. Oh man! What, like, <laughs> wow! If I just can't imagine why you would do something like that as a professional athlete, like. Well, fuck with him. It makes sense. They're trying to fuck with him. Let me get, get you. No, 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 no. Why would you? Hold on. Fire off some some but, fist goes. But here. Here's the thing. That's sexism because there's a bunch of women out here on OnlyFans doing yes, public shows yes. in their cars all the time, and when Weiss McGuire does it, it's a goddamn federal offense. Yes, sexism. because he's because he's not doing it in front of a camera. One, exactly. In, in, a, mean, privacy, in the privacy of his own home. Two, like he's in a mall, a strip mall. That's not the kind of scripting they were doing at that mall. Ain't the same. You, like, you ain't why wouldn't come, you? You ain't gonna come for OnlyFans. I got you. I, I will fight everybody. <laughs> oh, you got you a OnlyFans? You got you a pay OnlyFans? Is that why you no, like, nah? No, no, no advertise no, that no. on the After Dark page. You're not doing that no, right now. No, but no, like seriously, like if you are if you're a professional athlete, you shouldn't have to, in my opinion. Like you should be able to make a call hey, and hey, get somebody hey, to come home. Hey. in the midst like, of COVID, can you really just make a call? You can, Nick, you still make calls. Well, you're not single no more. You can I'm still not. make calls. I'm not. You can in, still in make the calls. Co- in the midst of COVID, like, that's in, like, in come on, man. You can still make calls. Goes my, that goes with my meme I sent y'all earlier today. <laughs> you know how many You know how many girls are popping up pregnant right now in the midst of COVID? First, first At least off, 10 COVID first, babies that I know first, of. First, first off, I take exception to that shit because I'm single. I can't make no fucking phone calls. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Apparently, trying oh, to make phone but, calls. Uh, I hate it here. But anywho. I hate it. I hate it here. You guys, anyway, be sure anyway. to check us out on <laughs> MergeWhiskey.com. Check out our prior episodes. Get our merch. Uh, go on, check out both of our sponsors. Check them out. And that is the Perching Oxen. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, cheesy no, fries. No, that, hey, I'm, cheesy I'm, fries 69. <laughs> said maybe you calling the wrong one. You calling the wrong ones, homie. <laughs> I don't call no fucking body. How about that? And that, that's that's why you're in the strip mall. Yep. <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm, I'm about to I'm about to be on my Reese McGuire shit. I'm about to go down the way. I'm about to I'm about to go down the way. I'm about to go down the way. I'm about to go I'm about to go to Wegmans right after we finish shoot. <laughs> Harris. Harris oh please. man. <laughs> So wow. speaking of crazy shit that has happened recently, um, <laughs> everybody should be familiar with this guy because he is, we've chosen him as our wrestler of the week because- Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, he's the most wrestling shit so he's far. He's a fucking psycho. Our wrestler of the week 
our wrestler of the week is the one, the only Marty Jannetty. Marty Jannetty <laughs> is a former WWE superstar, former WWF tag team champion. With he was actually tag team champions not as the Rockers, but as a uh, partner with One Two Three Kid. He didn't have a championship. Mm, show like mm, um, that's interesting. Yeah, but uh, you know he's he's been he's resurfaced into the new specter sphere now because he on his social media he announced that he. Basically killed somebody in the past. Body the nigga. He and confessed the murder. Body one person or multiple people? No, no, the, the fact that, all right. He all right. only he confesses to the one. So He alludes so. to multiple. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, the memes are going crazy with Marty Jannetty's yeah. and his, like, you know what? I think I think Marty Jannetty should have a new rap name. It should be Murder Jannetty. <laughs> like, he's, like, he's, uh, <laughs> the fact that he, the uh, fact that he, like the fact that like everyone picks different parts of the internet of what he said that was so wrong in his confession. He's like, "This is not the first time that I, you know, let you know." Someone that was the first time I made a man disappear. Oh, like, wait, what? Shit. There's been more what? than one. <laughs> and a lot of people missed it. A lot of people missed it because in the, he was using he used the f word, the other f word that we don't use here. He used that to describe the person that he ended up allegedly killing. And people were focusing on that, but everybody else who's smart enough was like, "Wait a minute!" He said the first time he made somebody disappear. That motherfucker killing people. Hey, yeah. like, oh, but, no. but did anybody hear his retort after everything started going crazy? His retort I was, I just said he disappeared. I didn't say I killed him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely did. Like, what? What are you talking about? Yo, hey, hey, that's hey, that's hey, not hey. how that works when they just disappear and you ain't kill them. No, it's not what? How it works. He's like, I didn't he say, but didn't he say they never found the body? He said... You definitely killed the motherfucker. Like, and, and then he <laughs> and then he said, "What river they should check?" Yeah, <laughs> it said check the Tehuantepec River or something like that. Like, come on, Chatt- bro. Chatt- 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 like, if I'm telling you the location of the ravine, I killed hey, that <laughs> Like, that's I, I, how I, it works. I'm gonna say this though, real quick, because um. With Marty Jannetty, I'm sorry, with Murder Jannetty, he definitely was on something. And speaking of on something, that inspired our character of the week. Ah. <laughs> yep. the same way. Hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick. I need definitely everybody, one of those high everybody flyers. watching, everybody watching, please pay attention to the character of the week. Please pay attention please to the character of the week. And, and then the throwback is just as bad. <laughs> Just so yeah, I mean it's bad all around. So yes, the fuck yes. everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The fuck is ass. <laughs> Here we go. Character of the week. Whew. So today's character of the week is Snowflame. And for those who don't know, Snowflame was a villain to the superhero group known as the New Guardians. Uh, Snowflame is a villain from Colombia who gets his powers off of cocaine. I do cocaine! And no, it's not like super co- super cocaine or radioactive cocaine or toxic waste and, and chemicals. He just snorts cocaine and he gets his powers. What was his powers? I don't know. Teeth chatter really fast? I don't know. Basically, you know, superhuman invent- enhanced abilities, but based off of cocaine. So apparently, like... So think of like Tyrone Biggums and Red Balls, only like a dastardly villain with guys behind him with machine guns because, you know, he's a Colombian drug lord, but he's a superhero Colombian drug lord. I swear, like, he's the only villain of like Dare or and McGruff the Crime Dog. I would love to see him, like, do, they do like a super death battle between like Snowflame and the Ultimate Warrior. And it didn't even try to like hide the fact that he does cocaine to get his powers. I do cocaine! They didn't put like no funny euphemism or anything like that. It's just straight blow. Cocaine, big C, dust, white lady, pearl, powder, snow. I wonder if he dies if they cremate him. In fact, one of his lines or one of his uh, quotes is, uh, I am Snowflame. Every cell of my being burns of white hot ecstasy. Cocaine is my god, and I am his human instruments of will. So anyway, just say no to drugs and you won't be a Colombian drug lord, super drug lord. Anyway, back to you guys. (laughs) 
<laughs> shout out to Jamika because she said that we need to make that uh, shirt that says as far as hashtag I'm on my way to the strip mall. Hey, <laughs> let me make that shirt happen. Hey, look, first of all, first you're of all, not gonna act like, like the code gets Let's bigger on your line. nose every to <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm on vacation. I am on vacation. The niggas, the niggas on vacation. Leave them alone. All right? Some people party certain. Di- Some people party differently than others. All right. I got that white girl. Please. Oh man. Oh man. Hey, so my they say this. They say his sidekick is Tyrone Biggums. <laughs> Hey, hey, people are asking where the Fupa shirt is at. So we got to hurry up and get that out, too. Oh, it's in the works. Don't worry, everybody. We got more merchandise coming to you. Just, just be patient oh, with us. Things I'm going to post, my, I'm a be, I'm post my whole, whole Fupa on it. Don't worry about it. My stretch marks will be there everything. You got it. Don't worry about it. They're going to be the, they're gonna be the zippers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just, got, <laughs> no. I, I just got two words. <laughs> Alcohol sorbet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate y'all so much. Um, yeah, we, but we don't drink tequila no more. Things are things are delayed. <laughs> things are delayed. Things are delayed because of the COVID situation. So please be patient with us as we get our merchandise together. Just like when anything else you did with. And we have day jobs, so we're very busy. But let's essential move workers. on. I'm about yes, to say we're all if- essential workers. Hey, y'all can start sending us bits through Twitch, and then we don't have to have work no more, and we can do this full time. So. And y'all can share our uh, broadcast, and then you know we'll have more time to put your shirts out. I'm about to say, help us hey, grow, bro. so we can do mo, Listen, so I can real, do blow. Real quick, real quick. <laughs> if... <laughs> Hey, the thoughts hey, and yeah. views of one come out do not do not re- reference do not reflect the views of Spirit Media. Real, real oh. quick, real quick, real quick. If if everybody if everybody that likes our fan page right now goes and subscribes to our YouTube, then we can start getting shit out a lot faster to you. Because then we can really start doing blow. And then you can put fupa on necks everywhere you go. You can just lay that fupa right on the neck everywhere you go. We in there. I'm about to say, then I could then I could be doing lines off of a fupa. Throwback show of the week. <laughs> For the love of God, people. We actually don't have a throwback show. We have a throwback movie this week. And we are taking it back. I am breathing. I'm very much so breathing. Hey man, we are we are channeling. Tyler, okay? Let us live. <laughs> Go ahead, Tyler. Uh, it hurt. You got this. Go back, go back I got this. Week I, got this. Uh, I got this. I got this. Damn it. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> Just go ahead. Are you always trying to take over? Why Herb couldn't do it? Hey, Herb. I mean, I'm sorry. Hey, Trey, you're looking a little uh, amped up there. Go ahead, Herb. You got it. Don't let him try to take over. <laughs> I can't even do it this week. She's <laughs> saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Y'all got, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no, we was fucking with you. Hey, all right, you fuck it. The throwback movie this time of the week is Fight Club. And that boy... Tyler Durden is the life that we are all trying to aspire to, as you can see. <laughs> so that's where we at. Go ahead, Trey. You got the rest of it. Oh no, y'all, y'all, y'all got this one. Y'all got this. I, I'll let y'all do it. Go ahead. Salty, right? I mean, we were just salty. messing with you. I'm not. I'm not salty at all. I'm just. I'm taking a back seat while you guys run the show. Do what you got to do. It was a joke. Oh all my right, God, right. so, Trey so, so, is the so, best so. MC we could have ever had in our lifetime. All right, all right so, let's... all right, so the reason why I'm so fucking salty about this <laughs> is because it's my favorite goddamn movie, and I said this in the meeting that I wanted to talk about this. I <laughs> said what you guys are going to talk about individually, and you wouldn't let me goddamn do it. So next time, let me goddamn talk about the shit when I'm talking. <laughs> shit. Anyway, so Fight Club. Shazam! <laughs> oh my God! No more tequila. Fight Club is one of those 
<laughs> one of those classic movies from the from the nineties. It is a mind fuck. It is a it is a brain twister. It's just an all around good time roller coaster ride that delves into multiple multiple personality disorder. Um, Edward Norton is amazing. Brad Pitt is amazing, and you know it it shows it shows a lot that can go wrong in a person's life and a lot that can go right. But it is it's it's definitely a coke fueled. <laughs> hey, fever dreams. So, can we get some F's in the chat if y'all want us to start the Blurs and Whiskey Fight Club? <laughs> oh, Wait, shit, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, oh, but we're not supposed to talk about Fight Club. That's the number one rule. That's the number one rule. Listen, but listen. This so, is technically so not Fight Club. Fight Club. So I need this. So, I need this. Wait, wait. Someone Go said Brock Cam Lever. had trouble. Washing off the sugar off his lips, thanks to the growth of the beard struggle. You're right. Come on, Cam. Let's talk about it, Cam. Hey, your worms is F F. Talk about it. All right. So the beard struggle. Beard struggle changed your life, Cam. Let us know. It it has changed my life for the better. Um, um, everyone who's complained about COVID mask and uh, breathing issues clearly have never had the beard struggle because once you have the beard struggle. Breathing the mask is easy to breathe once you have uh, uh, you know, once your face is all sad and wrong. Um, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Proper, you know, get the code for the uh, beer struggle there. His blurs one for beer. Hashtag, I don't remember the code. <laughs> blurs one, blurs one. Oh, That's what it is. Cam, Cam out oh. of you because he ain't know the code. <laughs> You're right. Okay. You're right. Damn. Read, read, <laughs> over, <laughs> read over your Brock snitching. Like, okay. I'm on vacation. Okay. What can I tell you? All right, I'm not so mad at you. If you get if you guys have not seen Fight Club, go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you want to get your beard on point, hit up Blurs the Beard Struggle. And uh, you can see it on our website, blursandwhiskey.com. We have links to everything as well as the promo codes listed to everything we have here. Uh, can, you missed the most important part. Can I say something real quick? Can I just say something real quick? We are, never, we are never drinking tequila again. On the <laughs> Ever. <laughs> and no more tequila. No more. We said that. <laughs> anyway. All right. That's important part. Good old agua. If you want your promo to be A1 for your soft porno that you're shopping to Cinemax HBO Showtime, get you some blur um some beard uh struggle. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, she just changed the whole name of their product. Get you some blurred struggle. That's it, right? <laughs> That's what it is. So it's about us. So, at so, the end of the day. <laughs> so I'm yeah, a, I'm tequila. A, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and say Don't this though, as, as we're talking about the Fight Club. Clearly, <laughs> we're not gonna like act like we didn't see Monday Night Raw because um, Shane McMahon made his that triumphant return that no one asked for on Monday Night Raw. Here comes the money. And he promoted Raw Underground, which pretty much is like Def Jam Vendetta in Greenwich, Connecticut. Like, it's just like <laughs> the worst. <laughs> he's, he's like, hey, don't pay attention to, like, how bad the choreographed fights are. Look at these girls. They're dancing. Oh, they're not dancing. All right. Look at the girls yep. that are doing, like, a weird gyration move. Yo, yo to, steal, to steal a quote from WrestleTalk.com, look at the sexy dancers. Look at our show, please. Wait, look wait, at the sexy wait, y'all want to disregard the fact that our fans are going for us in the comment section? They called us lightweights. Yeah, that's, <laughs> they said, that's, wasn't that I, the reason y'all had a look at timeout last week? First of all, you're right. I, <laughs> so no 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 but it's, it's funny that rick mentioned stealing because that's kind of how what's that's the word that's going around especially with the whole like raw Pretty underground much. fight club thing um um so a couple of months ago i say like maybe like three four months ago um wwe the network decided to like get a bunch of like underground and, and indie promotions to like send them some pilots and stuff like that to see if they can either buy out the promotion or showcase the promotion on the network to give more exposure. Of course, a bunch of you know underground any promotions are thinking like our right, our stuff can be now shown on the big screen. Chikara had a storyline called The Crucible, and a lot of indie wrestlers, same format as you see on Raw Underground. And clearly, you just look up the Crucible and Chikara on YouTube, and you will literally see almost like play for play or 
like the whole setup is pretty much set up the same way that uh, at shot for shot and camera angles and, and, the, and the whole grime setting alone that um they pretty much stole um i believe the wrestler's name is aj gray but um he pretty much uh was the uh director creator of the storyline he got the people involved they you know Chikar, like i said they don't have, they're, they're underground they don't have a lot of money so all the a lot of hard work went into what little they were able to produce. And they sent that to WWE to get that promoted. And then next thing he knows, without even being told that it's going to be like, hey, everyone, use your idea and expand upon it. They took what he had and put like NXT and mid-card people in it. So basically it's Brawl for All with with the, with a more organized structure <laughs> with, with like a stolen idea from Takara and the concept WWE of Chikara, mine. <laughs> yeah, and it's but, just pretty much like... But, yeah, but isn't, this, like, isn't this just par for the course, though? Isn't this a part like it's just it's typical WWE? Like, look at it. They started doing they started doing their shows without fans before AEW. AEW starts doing it afterwards. They put their wrestlers in there to give you some type of crowd reaction. WWE steals it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just par for the course. Like they 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 don't have original ideas because they have this insane old man who lauds over everything and tries Such to take it and tries to. You know what I mean? Just make everything his. So, I mean, it, this is just part of the course. And this is why I don't want, like, the only reason I get WWE updates is because I watch, I'm subscribed to whatculture.com on YouTube. That's it. That's the only reason I get updates. Mm-hmm. I can't, I can't watch this shit anymore. It's, it's abysmal to watch. So this is just part of the course for them. All right, OCG, we got oh, OCG is making an appearance. All right, y'all, y'all coming for me in the comments. Okay. No, they can't eat during the show. Because if y'all watch Versus and you watch the after show, Swiss Beats and Timbaland are having a conversation and Swiss is just chewing on something the whole time, just eating. And I'm just trolling him in the comments. Ooh, ooh, should, we get, should we do Kanye versus Drake? I was like, nigga, right now you try to work out Nacho versus a Cool Ranch. Like, I'm just trolling him. And, and it was just like the most unprofessional eat shit. before the show, but I oh, feel yeah. like tequila just... Tequila is a different monster. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. In a different way. Yeah. Wait a minute. Didn't didn't about thirty minutes ago? Didn't I just warn our fans about this shit? I just <laughs> warned y'all about this. And I also, just, also, also, in my defense, I'm on vacation, so <laughs> by the time the show started, I've already like I'm you know tequila is just the least of what I'm doing right now. <sighs> yeah, oh, we know, we know. You did it. Hey. You, you definitely ate before the show. <laughs> Hey, Good job, homie. Hey, Good that job. beer, that beer struggle. <laughs> that beer struggle, though. Bro, for, for, the, for, the, for those of you guys that don't get the joke, he ate the box. <laughs> nom, 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 She right, has right, okay, a poop okay. floor or not, but if she did, she definitely laid it on his chin. I'm just hey, saying, Ladula, oh, no, I'm not saying she got one. She oh, may not be a poop owner. Sure. But hey, if quick. she did... <laughs> oh, my God. Le- Le- Ladula twenty eight. Oh, you calling us tequila rookies, huh? Well, how about how about me and you go shop and shop with absinthe? No, oh, fuck, no, no, no. How about just it? stop, stop, dude, just stop. I'm for it. Let's no, go. no, no. I do want to do another absinthe show. Y'all too. Y'all I wasn't too on the absinthe show, but <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do shot for shot for everything. Oh. No, 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 no. I'm I am. Ch- <laughs> no, I'm challenging fans. I'm challenging fans. Like people. Be- to kill rookies, you know hey, Rick, 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 Rick. <laughs> I'm telling y'all right now, in the fans, y'all don't want that smoke. Please, just do it. <laughs> don't do it. See, walk away. Sorry, I'm still, I'm still quite sober right now. I just got pissed off. Well, That's my like so, Afro Latino heritage will not allow me to let, not let the tequila just flow through my spirit, and so I'm fucked up. Hey, look at the look at the most recent comment. Look who said they want to be the bartender. No, hell Ooh. no, 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 hell no, 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 blue dragon no. chills. No, who is blue dragon chills? I'm Darren. Yo, yo, Dra- blue dragon. It's Darren. Come on, because nah, he no. like he because he he will, he will okay. sneak some I, Everclear in there. Okay, no, nah. absolutely good. not. <laughs> let's 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 do it. Words, hurricane Katrina. All right, guys. No, no. All right, let's go. All right. So speaking of scoring, like uh, my my one of my co-hosts there have been doing all weekend. Uh, we got some college football news. Huh. Maestro, you want to take that one over? Yeah, yeah. So 
So in the world of college football, the players are, have taken with the recent protests and the recent COVID thing, and they're starting to advocate for themselves. Uh, in the, PAC, the Pac-12, there's a coalition started by a track athlete. I don't want to put his name out there because he's still an amateur athlete. And a couple of football players. And they started the Players' Unity Movement, right? The mm-hmm. Big Ten uh, players have started have started their own Big Ten Players' Unity Movement. Now, what these players want Unity! They... <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang! Shit, no. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay on task. So... <laughs> the players' unity movements basically they want safety precautions put in place for COVID because right now, if anybody knows anybody that plays college football, they're on campus and the the coaches are telling you that oh we're doing this testing and we have these precautions in place. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, as somebody who's a former player and coach, that shit ain't in place. They just saying that to keep y'all docile. And also, they also want to be able to speak up for themselves about social justice. They want they want to be able to speak out about Black Lives Matter. They want to be able to speak out about all the injustices that occur occurring against Black people and people of color. And they they just want to be able to advocate for themselves. So these are things that are happening right across. And these players and, and a lot of big name players who players who could be coming up in the draft, a couple of which have already opted out, by the way. Uh one of the best linebackers in the nation, Michael Parsons. Michael Parsons. Yeah, I'm asking. Say, I'm asking. I'm asking. Go ahead, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, Michael Parsons, that plays linebackers for the University of Penn State, has opted out in the season to say he's getting ready for the draft. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, these play, these players have it's, it's, they've taken a long lineage of not being able to advocate for themselves and 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 speak up for themselves. They've now been empowered, and they now they know that they have the power, so they're speaking out about it. So that's that's props to all of them, man. I wish. I wish I would have been playing ball in this time because if we'd have thought about doing this shit back when I was in college, yeah, yeah, bye, 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 tuition, bye, bye, scholarship, <laughs> bye, bye, bye. public service announcement, real quick. I just want everybody to know I encourage everybody to have water. Okay, I just, I just want to put that out there that I encourage everybody to have water handy. I- I'm by the beach, so I got nothing but water around me. So. <laughs> 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 uh, I made it, make it, no. I try. I just thought I'm saying. I try. I got, <laughs> I, I got water, but I ain't no quitter. Water yeah. means no, 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 but um, no, but Rick, no, Rick's got a point though, because like a lot of college players before now never really had a an option or be a voice. So I'm all like as 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 like he said, he wished he could play in nowadays, but as someone who did who's been through what he's been through to see what's going on now, I can see why he and me, me personally, like I said, I never actually did any college um athletics at all. But I was always around people who did college athletics and I, I see like a lot of the struggles that they went through. So it's like right now what's going on is a very big step in the form of like some type of independence and breaking away from what I call the tyranny of like a lot of college sports. Right. So I, I'll say this as, as somebody like I, I am in, I'm in a couple of coaching groups on Facebook and every day I go back and forth with some dude who just thinks about football and not the humanity of that comes along with the sport. And he's just like, Oh, these these dudes need to stop complaining. They getting a scholarship to play a child's game. Da, da, da. Man, shut the fuck up. Like, clearly you never played college sports. You don't know. Like, listen, I was on, for those of you that don't know, I was on full scholarship to play college football. Guess what I still didn't have? Money to fucking eat. Because if anybody's been to college, you know, calf food is basically unedible, is inedible. Right. Mm -hmm. So guess what? I'm still I'm I'm on scholarship. Yes. But at the same time, I'm still struggling to get by day by day. So the fact that these dudes have been empowered to advocate for themselves, it is absolutely amazing. And I they get nothing but 100 percent respect for me. And if anything that I can do to push forward their movement, I'm all for it. Okay, I just want to point out I I wasn't I I wasn't on scholarship. And the struggle was still real. But shout out to my mama who smuggled in a refrigerator and a hot plate for a nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Appreciate you, Ursula. May she continue to rest in peace. But, you know, she knew 
that if a nigga got suspended for the hot plate slash refrigerator, that hey, it is what it is. <laughs> but I appreciate her, you know, looking out for me. Proud for her baby. <laughs> we had a whole lot of spaghetti <laughs> nights in the dorm. You know, hey, say, <laughs> so I, I, I appreciate I, 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 it. I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a shout she out to much my college that. days. In my college days, I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, George Foreman because that grill <laughs> saved my. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a shout out to the vending machine man because we used to rob you blind. <laughs> <laughs> and you still refill that joint for months? Hey. No, 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 no. It wasn't just shaking. Hey. We had, we had, we had a whole system. I would pull the machine down over on his face. My boy Brandon would come from the back and deadlift it straight up. Everything falls out. We had oversized football bags. We fill everything up. I, we went. <laughs> We would have food and then the shit that we didn't want to eat, like them nasty ass strawberry pop tarts, we would sell them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Strawberry pop tarts are good, man. Right? The frosted or the regular kind. And that just shows the hey, commoner that you are. Strawberry pop tarts was good. You put them in a toaster and you overcooked them. You had to man. literally overcook it in order for it to be edible. I'm, I'm Bro, all I'm s'mores pop no. all s'mores pop tarts are all day. <laughs> so Hey, but Trey, one thing I can't, I can't, I can't speak marshmallows. On, oh. I can't speak on the other guys as far as with theirs, but I do remember those days of PG uh, CC. The fucking uh, what's the name? The, the den, the food den area. They had some good breakfast up there. They, the waffles was on point majority of the time. You can't, but you can't mess up. How do you mess food, up? You you can't, can't, it's hard to mess, mess up breakfast. breakfast. That's true. That's the only I mean, time it's hard to eat in the cab. When, well, that's why we the size we are now. I couldn't get Listen. McDonald's in the morning. That was the spot to go to. I already know, I already know the bar is spot. low. That bar is low for his breakfast. Dude, like, that's why we the size the, we are I went to South Carolina State University, and I'm going to tell you right now, the only thing that they got right was breakfast. Everything else was fucked up, which is why I had a refrigerator and a whole hot plate. I'm not even lying. <laughs> the, reason like, why, the reason why we are the size we are now is because we only <laughs> ate breakfast in that bitch. And then we would go down the street to go to Garral. So, no. yeah. Oh, 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 quick story. <laughs> quick, super duper duper quick story. There was an ice storm in South Carolina on my dorm my freshman year. And the whole city shut down because they did not know how to deal with ice because I was in South Carolina. <laughs> so, you know me, I'm used to it. So I put my Tams on. I have my no face on. I'm walking to class <laughs> or whatever. And I get there and there's nobody there except everybody who lives from Virginia up. Nobody else <laughs> who was there. <laughs> nobody. We all in class. Like, where the fuck is everybody up? They're like all the all the Yankees showed up. All the Yankees. We <laughs> found they shut the whole campus down. I mean, it was no food in the cast. It was nothing. So again, shout out to Ursula for that hot plate because if I had a hot plate, a nigga wouldn't have ate for like three or four days because the Mama whole out there feeding the whole campus dorm. was shut down. <laughs> like for real, it was whole. It was shut down. Like they didn't even give food to. The students on campus. Wow. So them so, spaghetti dinners that I sold job. for four dollars really a right. plate, you know, appreciate you. Damn you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that so real quick, the um so it makes me think about this. With the Rock purchasing the XFL, we know the NFL is the juggernaut that it is. It is a multi-million dollar. Option billion, billion. Multi -bi billion. Oh, sorry, billion. Yes, you're billion of dollars. <laughs> Continue. So, with them being a multi billion dollar option, do you think that you think that the XFL has the potential to grow to the size of the NFL with the rock at the head and then no. having options? No, <laughs> uh, I guess, I guess we, that's no. I mean, I mean, as much as I love him, and as much as we have five kids in my mind. No, the answer is still no. Like it's a it's a no. Like, do I think the XFL has the capacity to grow and and expand to other cities? Absolutely. But you're not taking down the juggernaut of football. Like that's not happening. It's so, not. <laughs> so in comparison, you're basically saying NFL is the WWE and the XFL is AEW right now. Basically, basically. or basically. or Listen. or. Or Impact? it's the ECW. 
so, <laughs> so I'm I'm just gonna say ECW's this. dead. I'm, I know. I'm, listen, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say this, and I say this anytime anybody talks about the NFL being challenged in this country. We all know how deeply ingrained Christianity is in this country. Christianity Ooh. is the NFL took a day from religion. Yeah, it took it. It yeah. snatched the shit from it. Yeah. Sundays is more synonymous with the NFL than it is with church in 40 to 50% of Americans' minds. Think about that shit when you think about somebody challenging the NFL. And just to okay. piggyback on what he said, you got a pastor who's actually shifting their actually service to make sure that people go and watch football. So they ended like, but, but, but they ended like 12, 30, 12, 45. Ish. Exactly. So I mean, you can even get in the car and start turning on the radio. So you can at least turn the ra- right. So you can at least turn the radio on to hear the first part. I've been in, I've been in churches. They can hear me. I've been in churches where the pastor wearing a jersey for the entire <laughs> for the entire sermon. And it was like, all right, y'all. Game's getting ready to start. Just, I'm, just, I'm just thinking of the pastor doing a benediction. He said, "In the in the name of the Father, the Son, and the, oh, come on!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, Nick, I, I've been in I've been in churches I've been in churches where they end the benediction like the Bama literally ended it. Go Broncos! What the fuck? <laughs> okay, all he right. said he okay. said Amen. Go Broncos! So okay. so so your XFL. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to lead into. With the rock at the helm of this, recognizing the faults, the faults in the NFL, things that are going wrong, and also being a person of color, do you think this would be a viable option for people of color to opt into going to the XFL as opposed to going to the NFL, even though they will potentially lose money? I know that the NFL is a juggernaut. I recognize that. I was not comparing the two before you guys cut me off. I was trying okay. to say that the XFL would be a viable option for people coming out. A viable so, option to people who oh, are not going to get, to get selected in a draft. Um, <laughs> that's, no, that's, honestly, that's, actually, that's actually not true. Um, I, the XFL this year had a lot of good potential of people who were NFL yeah. hopefuls. And Did they, they get selected in a draft? No, no. They opted for going to the XFL because they have better opportunities and a better a better spotlight. But I'm pretty sure uh, either Rick or... Uh, were they first or, and second round draft pick? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure Rick and um and Herb can take over for this part, but I, I'm I'm, I'm kind of gleaning to something. I'm gonna give you some numbers. I'm gonna give you some numbers. XFL salary, eighty thousand dollars. Practice squad NFL, five hundred thousand. Okay. You tell me what you're gonna do. Also, you have to look at it like this too. Just as far as just as a stepping stone, yes, I think XFL is gonna be great because they even have as far as uh, players who are in college. They actually uh, had a guy. I don't know what school he went to, but he said, got, "I'm I going to get, go ahead." There, there was a guy who actually had to leave the University of West Virginia. He was a safety. He had to leave it for personal reasons, for family reasons. He ended up playing this past season in the XFL. Got drafted in the fifth round. So and got they, paid. As as a pro, as a progressor league or like a minor league, it'll work. If they yes. work, if, as long as you work with the NFL, you'll be cool. Once you start to compete and butt heads, you're fucked. Yeah, that's so, when it. I don't. I don't think that the XFL should ever try to compete with them. I don't think they have the opportunity to do that. I think that's one of the many faults that Vince McMahon had when in his vision of it he yeah. was trying to go. I think at this head. point the XFL cannot compete with the NFL. Like so I feel, was, I feel like the XFL is more reserved for players who are fourth round, third round injured players who have no choice but to seek. A so, career outside of the NFL. I feel like that's what it's reserved for at this point. Mm-hmm. But that so, doesn't mean that they're not as talented as the people who are being drafted in the NFL. So I can say this as, as anyone, as a, as a fan of certain sports in general, a lot of people kind of like, you know, like I said, like people who like football <laughs> will watch football wherever they can. I've seen people watch high school football, college football, arena football. You know, they just like the sport of football. So when you have options that are on like a national publication channel, such as like XFL and you got the NFL, like like once the NFL is over, they got the XFL, you know, on the TV during that time period. 
people are going to watch it because they love the sport. So exactly. and, and that whole aspect of the fact that it's just another avenue for someone who loves the sport, the XFL is a good option, especially people who play that. Um, I think, like I said, Vince Man's first time around, he tried to treat it like it was WCW and try to go against it. And it was like every time he would talk, like he would spend more time bashing the NFL than he did actually promoting the XFL when sure. he did the first cut, first time around. So this year, I feel like what he did is basically what we all wanted him to do, shut the fuck up, and he just let the mm. game be the game. And mm-hmm. that this year, it actually had potential, with, you know, COVID aside, it had potential of being a very good, like, another avenue for people who enjoy the game. And just to uh, say, and I know Rick can attest to this, the fandom, just being a fan going to those games were fucking amazing. Yes. Beer cup weren't a snake. Beer cup snake. <laughs> Rick can tell you about it because he was actually there. It will forever it will forever be in my memories as one of the greatest things I've ever been a part of. You know, I, I, I bought six beers at $8 a piece just so they could be a part of the cup snake. It was awesome. <laughs> So so, so, gonna, so so please explain what that is because I'm thinking all right, like all right so thinking. so so the XFL games you had a combination of people who love football but then it was at Audi Field where the the uh, the DC United plays so you also had soccer fans who were there as well right uh, and so we all we all know how soccer bug. fans get soccer fans are like the 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 fans of WWE that show up for the the Raw after WrestleMania they're all <laughs> rowdy they all got craziness mm-hmm. going so. We so for some reason somebody decided at, at a game at the second home game that they were going to make a gigantic cup snake, which means like the the beers there are sold in these twenty four ounce cups, which are big cups, and they just started stacking them. Right, next thing you know, this thing is eighteen rows long. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, this shit is amazing. It's a snake made out of plastic cups, and they they made it, and then they walked it out of the stadium. Just chanting ole, ole, ole. I'm like, that has nothing to do with football, but you know what? Fuck it. This is amazing. Like, it, it's, yo, I'm, I'm excited for the XFL to come back just because I want to go to the games. I want to experience more moments like that. The XF, like, I had more fun at two XFL games that I went to this year than in the number of Washington football team games that I've gone to in my life. Yeah. Next, right, so, so, save so some coins. So let me ask you this then. So yeah. if you, 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 that. So so Rick, let me ask you this then, or everyone uh-huh. else can answer this too. Um, since XFL was such a great experience because of the crowd reaction with the COVID thing, because I don't know if y'all noticed, a lot of sports ain't no crowds anymore. Right. Um. So like 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 the like like baseball looks like um. PlayStation game like PlayStation 2K games with the crowd being <laughs> like it looks like, like all and shit. right. <laughs> So I'm over here. It looks like, like they're trying too hard. Is what you're saying? No, they're, they're flat and they just like just like no. They, have, they, they, they have a, they they have actual they, cardboard cutouts and they pump sound. They pump they pump on the TV broadcast. They pump crowd noise from past games into the state into the uh, stadiums. That shit <laughs> reminds me of WWE <laughs> Raw the the Raw games on PlayStation One. <laughs> War Zone, okay. where you just see the characters in the background like this. It's, it's terrible, basically, is what we're alluding to. And, 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 and I mean, I'm just, I'm just so, saying, like, where's where XFL going to go? Because NBA got like Zoom meetings for the crowd. So, so I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this: the XFL has to find some happy medium. Like, if the XFL did the Zoom fan thing, I think XFL fans would be all for it, and they would make it just as interesting, right? Mm-hmm. If they if they do the no fans thing and the cardboard cutouts, I think it's going to fail miserably. You know what I mean? Because it's, so, it's it, it like. XFL is all about the fan, the fan interaction. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, we all saw the cutout of Weekend at Bur- of Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's. God damn. Thank, thanks to Herb, right? Because he, lo- he, he loved. It he literally put it everywhere. <laughs> well, it was funny though. It really was. Like it if was you funny. grew up that shit, that in the weekend, horrible. if you grew up where you could see the Weekend at Bernie's movie, it was fucking. Epic. It was. Like, wow. let's just put it... <laughs> let's call it space, space, space. It was funny. So, speaking of sports that require fans in the stands, I've taken to using my network access for the WWE to going back and watching old stuff. Has anybody gone back and watched anything that... And you just get this blast of sound 
from the audience and it's like yo you, this you is know, how we used to live. This oh, is how wait, we used what blast of sound? What are you talking about? Who the, 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 crowd, the, the crowd. crowd. So, uh, ultimate example of that, ultimate example of that, when Dolph Ziggler cast in his money in the bank on Alberto yeah. Del Rio. You, you know what? If you, if, you miss, if you miss fan reactions, go back and watch that shit. That is the most oh incredible, God. that's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my perfect life. Perfect example, perfect example. When we were at Summers, when we used to go to Summers to the bars for for pay per views, so when edges ago. when edges music hit, it was that this year. Shit. That that shit. was this year, and we we are all like fanboying. We are all. Just, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, so so I need for I know one of us is in a wrestling group where somebody that was at Summers has film of the four of us because Rita wasn't there. Somebody has film of the four of us reacting to him coming out. And I swear to God, we look like four big ass grown children. <laughs> four, hey, four it's right, big... it's right. Another fucking even dog. though Cam is skinny, he's still st- he's still big in stature. So yeah, I mean, you're no, right. When, when the Royal Rumble <laughs> happened during Thank during you. last year's Royal Rumble. This and year, Vince, Vince is this year. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm about to this say this year's what? Royal Rumble. Vince has a penchant for blondes, so it just it, I just started getting pissed off about it. So every time a different blonde came out, I started screaming, another fucking blonde. Hey, 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 I need a Nicki Minaj uh, wig, is what you telling me? I need a no, lace no, front. The, be, the, be, the best part about that was that there was a blonde girl. Like, <laughs> down the, yeah, she was about down. to... She was, she was about to... She was telling her boyfriend, to, like, you just gonna let him talk about me like that? Listen, what's up? He's like, not gonna do shit. <laughs> what y'all don't understand? What y'all don't understand? Is she was about to fuck Trey up. She had that look yeah, on her face, was, like, "I'm gonna was get you." She was about to that evil look around, like, she was about to tear the, the point, shit out of him. It got to the point that I had the whole bar screaming it. When, 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 hey, now they were fucking. fucking, fucking <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey! We need to wrap this up. Though. We need to wrap this up because we need rest time oh. in between shows. Yes. We do. Oh, yeah. So, so real quick, real quick, real quick, before we go through the closeout spot, we are going to be on, uh, what is it? Good the and good good terrible. And terrible. Show. Good and terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just there. Podcast. So we're going to be there. <laughs> and we're going to be on their podcast. We're going to share the link later because they're not going to do live like we do. Um, but we're going to be good and twisted. Yeah. We're on this show. So we warned that we warned them ahead of time, so I'm they going for round six. <laughs> want to be a mess. It's been yeah, all. I've gotten, it's been all. I've gotten halfway, halfway down the bottle. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> getting halfway so, to the bottle. <laughs> so we have not. We t- we kind of forewarned them that how we're going to be after our shows because you guys think we're wild. We're wild now after this show. I mean, team is fitting. It's the good and terrible, and that's exactly what it's gonna be. <laughs> hey, definitely hey. bringing the terrible to this one. Hey, we we also gotta wrap this up because I've been drinking this shit and water, and I gotta pee. <laughs> and I gotta pee. I gotta pee too. So, All right. Are we up also, to it? Down to it? So, so wait, hold on. Also, want to give a shout out to um to uh, our friend Overtime T. Uh, Overtime, he's got a, a yes! up on Roku. Um, so if you have a Roku, look up OTTV or Overtime with a Y, not a I. The nigga who took his shirt off on our last show, like a couple of yeah, him. he got a Roku TV. He did two show, he did two shows, but he got a Roku channel. Shout out to the homie for doing yeah, big right. moves and probably. I mean, we you know we may be working something out. It's cool. Hey, Herb, what you got? We got some things in the world. Hey world, guys, baby. be sure to look uh, like, share, and subscribe on all social media platforms. And as always, get that nigga up to it, down to it. Fuck those who don't do it. We do it because we used to it. Drink, drink motherfucker, drink. Can we out this bitch? Can we out this bitch? Burn. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and that Technicolor rainbow in between, it's your boy Trey Proper. It's your boy Big Herb. And thank Thank you for for watching Blurs Blurs and Whiskey. Be sure to like, share, subscribe on all social media platforms. And check us out on BlursandWhiskey.com. Be sure to get that merch and come take this shot.